After I picked up my Elite Desk 800D2 Mini, I was seeing videos about putting in a M2 A plus E case slot with a where the Wi-Fi is, and putting a 2.5 gig LAN card or a USB 2.0 card. Well, I try to do the USB 2.0. I'll just show you real quick, so you don't have to. And I'll show you how I broke it later. But I busted this one because I wasn't looking good enough, and I put it in. And the reason being, if you notice, the pins on this one, this is a 2.5 gig LAN adapter. The pins on this one are going out. The pins on the one I got are going up. And the reason why I did that was when I was putting in the USB 2.0 one, the headers bumped into a capacitor, which broke the header. So I had no trouble. Anyway, I'm gonna do a quick, quick install to see if it works. I got it on eBay for 24, I'll just say 99, I'm not sure. They have cheaper ones, but I needed it pointing up. So I wouldn't hit that capacitor and break again. But I'll show you that when I get to the, the computer, All right? See you in a minute. Okay, it's gonna be a little difficult to show you what I gotta show you, because I'm clumsy, obviously. Now, there's the Wi-Fi card. I already loosened it out. I'm going to kind of bend it over for now. The card that I had before, what did I do with that thing? It's over here someplace. Oh, here it is. The card that I had before for the USB 2.0, that was fine too. But if you notice, I have a white header here and one missing here. Crazy being. So when I put it in there and I wasn't paying attention, it went against this capacitor right here that I'm pointing to and broke the other connector off. But this one works. That's fine. I'll, I'll show you that in my other video. But for right now, we're going to go with this LAN connector. I'm going to put this in the same. This is going to be running with Windows, so I'm, I'm almost sure it's going to work. Okay. Right in where the Wi-Fi was. Nobody's touching the... Nobody's touching the connector. Let me get the screw back. You notice that cable's got red on one side? And those kind of cables, we used to use them all the time. The red was like pin one. So you know where pin one went. Screw it in. Okay, put pin one back where it was. Yeah, I don't have my glasses here right now. Guess I should have had them with me. There we go. Now what I'm going to end up doing is put this, not all together, but get it working on the other side. And i got to insulate this card so we don't have any shocks. And I want to keep the caddy hanging, because I'm going to still use the caddy, even though I, do, I just put an SSD in. I like, the, I like the fan part. And I'll be taking this out because I use the Wi-Fi anyway. All right? Let me get this thing where I can turn it on again and show you. That'll be on another machine because I want this thing to work and I want you to see what it's doing. I got to this part on my phone because I'm clumsy. Okay, everything's hooked up in the back normal. I have the Wi-Fi card in plastic. Here's my 2.5 card, okay? When I start the rest of this video, it's going to be on the machine itself and I have to use the LAN to make a connection for any updates for drivers, and then I'll do the rest. I can't really hear what I'm saying right now because 
I took the Bluetooth card out, so with my Wi-Fi, and that's usually my monitor or my speaker when I play back. So I won't be able to hear what I'm doing until it's over. That makes it more exciting. But in the meanwhile, I got a command prompt here, right? It says Ethernet adapter, Ethernet, obviously. 192.168.0.83, that's, that's my network. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to reach over, pull that one out. Because if you notice over here, I also have the Realtek, right? It already loaded itself, so that's the 2.5 adapter. I'm going to pull one out, put one in, and see if it works. If it doesn't work, I'll do a refresh. And the world will be happy from there. At least I'll be happy from there. Let's see what I got. Okay. Ethernet adapter 3. What was it before? Before it was just Ethernet adapter. Now it's number 3. Okay. So number 3 is this one here. Okay. So let me, let me do some internet real quick. Make sure it's going to work. Let's go to uh, ups.com. Okay, that's off the 2.5 adapter. I don't have nothing fast for it to talk to. I don't normally do tests anyway. That's for the smarter guys than me that got big YouTube pages. So for right now, let's know that it works. I'm happy. And I'm not happy all that often because I make a lot of mess ups. But let me put that mess back together before... I do something dangerous to it. Have a good day.